thing and Biden and Kamala will, you know, spout all this rhetoric about how we're working around the clock to get a ceasefire deal. You know, people should know that it's bullshit because if they were actually interested in getting a ceasefire done, they could get one done whenever they want. But they have to do that because they know if there's too much mounting public pressure, they're going to have to do something. The Republicans don't give a fuck. Really, go ahead. Does the death of Sipar make it easier or more difficult? I think it makes it easier. Why is that? you got to talk to Prime Minister Netanyahu about it. He's uh, called me, yes. He's, re so, he's, he's called me. I have not spoken. I'm going to speak to him probably now. What are you going to tell him? Well, look, he's doing a good job. Biden is trying to hold him back. Just so you understand, Biden is far superior to the to the VP. Uh, he's trying to hold him back, and he probably should be doing the opposite. Actually, I'm glad that VP decided to do what he had to do. But it's uh, it's moving along pretty good. Everything's moving along. Yes, you have a uh, early. Go ahead. Yeah. So holy fuck, right? I mean, the obvious first point is like no. Biden's not trying to hold him back. Uh, if Biden was trying to hold him back, he would do any of the various things he could do to actually hold him back, right? He would withhold arms, he would withhold aid, he would et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Biden is rhetorically saying that he's trying to hold him back in order to actually hold the population of the United States back, right? To hold back any organized public pressure to withhold aid, stop sending weapons, etc. Um, Biden is doing that so he can hold back public pressure on him so that him and U.S. planners can dominate the region by force through their militarily aggressive uh, pariah client state. That's what they're doing. Um, that being said, I think it's pretty clear at this point that Trump and the Republicans in the White House would be even worse on this. Like, I'm not convinced that they would respond to organized public pressure on this issue at all. I don't think they think that they would need to. Um, I think that in general, they're less responsive to that kind of thing, right? And uh, I think they would be markedly worse. And I think people who don't think that probably aren't thinking very clearly. If you're like an Arab American or especially a Palestinian American, um, you know, I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to tell you to plug your nose and vote for Kamala Harris in November. I get why it would be like extra, like, basically impossible for you to uh you know choke that down but for everybody else um i think we should pick who we want to fight right who is it easier to get to respond to large scale organized public pressure on issues like this. It's the Dems. Um, as fucking terrible as they are, it's the Dems. I don't think, you know, when the Republicans are in office, we're kind of always resisting anyways, you know? But, like, this is, like, they're not going to respond to shit on this issue. They're not interested in responding to, uh, the public at all yeah <laughs> like they <clears throat> they're like the republican party in its structure is so it's not even like a senatorial party you know 
it's so even more than the Dems beholden to private power that they've abandoned even pretending to care what kind of policies the public wants a long time ago. The Dems will gesture at it, and if you put enough pressure on them, you can get them to, you know, bite the bullet on some stuff. The Republicans don't give a fuck. The structure of the party doesn't incentivize them responding to it, and also they're ideologically opposed to democratic pressure anyways. They don't even believe in it, right? So, again, uh, I get why people would have a hard time plugging their nose and voting for Kamala, who seems to just be doing the exact same thing that Biden's doing. But, um, you know, I would pose the question, who do you think would be better to fight on this? I would say the Dems. And Biden and Kamala will, you know, spout all this rhetoric about how we're working around the clock to get a ceasefire deal. You know, people should know that it's bullshit because if they were actually interested in getting a ceasefire done, they could get one done whenever they want. But they're not interested in that. You know, U.S. planners aren't interested in that. Uh, but they have to do that because they know if there's too much mounting public pressure, they're going to have to do something. The Republicans don't give a fuck about mounting public pressure. They're, they're, I know it's hard to believe, but they are even less interested. <laughs> they're even less accountable to the public than the Dems are. So, food for thought. Um, yeah. <laughs>